Nashville isn't just about music. Creative work from artists of all genres continue to appear everywhere, most visibly those magnificent murals that brighten the sides of buildings. And they're not just downtown, actually, they're all across the mid-state. Yeah, and one of those artists has just taken on a new adventure steeped in history. News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders found it's unlike any of her other projects before. The pieces that I get passionate about are obviously when the person that's hiring me has the same amount of passion and excitement. There's a pretty good chance you've so seen a piece created by muralist Kim Radford. Yeah, she created this dolly on the side of the five spot. This girl can on a business in Nolansville. This East Nashville piece. Why someone would hire Kim Radford to paint a mural, it kind of pushes the colors a little bit brighter. And today, Kim's working with a new canvas for the very first time. I have never been asked to paint on an airplane before. Kim's at Beechcraft Heritage Museum in Tullahoma. What she's working on is a longtime project of museum member and volunteer Les Marsh. This is an AT-11 Beechcraft advanced trainer. Of course, it trained bombardiers. Navigators were also trained in this craft here. Les has traced the World War II era history of this craft to what was then called Williams Field in Arizona. All of this was redone to make it accurate. He believes that was around 1942. This is a patch off of a uniform. And it was in Big Spring, Texas the next year. Pictures of all the cadets, class of... 45 in this case right here, bombardiers. And <laughs> these are the wives and girlfriends of the cadets. Now remember, the first thing Kim told us was her favorite works come from someone passionate about the project. This time, that's less. It sat in a salvage yard for almost 30 years in Colorado. I felt sorry for it. I often wondered uh, if it could talk the stories it would tell. And so, Kim's playing her part by returning to the craft some key details. It's really cool, the historical context of it. Labeling a plane to build morale. That adds such a personal touch. This element of this restoration really matters, which is meaningful to me to be a part of. After 80 years, it has, it has come back around. I'm Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5. How cool is that? It is amazing. I love to see it everywhere across yeah. the mid-state, too. Yep.